Hey there, folks. My name is Dazer, and welcome to Resident Evil 2. With, as always, on these Resident Evil playthroughs, Wayne. Greetings. So, uh, Wayne has not actually played this since, like, the year it released. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be interesting for him to kind of you know, go through it again and still try to guide me, I guess, in some way. But though I want to say since playing Resident Evil remake and playing through director's cut or was it director's cut or the original, I, uh, Same thing, I guess. Yeah. I feel, I feel more confident that I can figure this stuff out on my own and I know what I'm doing a little bit better, but, uh, I guess we'll find out won't we? So yeah. let it begin. Original game. What do we do? Normal or easy? You just want to go with normal? Sure. Live dangerously. Oh. <laughs> I see you like to live dangerously as well. Yeah. So uh, we are playing this on an emulator so that I can use my green screen. We tried using the actual disc version, which I have. I'm showing it to everybody. I have the, the, the disc, but um, apparently... It just didn't seem like working after a couple different tries. So we are using a downloaded ISO of DualShock version, which I'm not sure if this is the DualShock version or not that I have, but I own the game. Fair enough. I assume it'd say it on the disc if it was. I, I think so too, and it doesn't, but whatever. It's the same game, so. So this is just a recap of what happened in the first game. We all know what happened. We've seen it three times on this channel now. <laughs> also, just to let you guys know, Wayne cannot hear the audio of the game. So, no. Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, you guys will not see this. I will crop it out. But uh, for some reason on the emulation version of the game, there's some weird stuff going on on the top and bottom bars of the game. Uh, where the black bars are that you guys are seeing right now, there's a bunch of stuff flashing. Hopefully, that's the only glitch we have to run into. But uh, yeah. it, it's a little distracting, that's for sure. Yeah. Leon! Now, we were told to play Claire A, Leon B scenario. And so we're in disc one. I don't know what that's going to mean, but we'll find out, I guess. We'll figure it out. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. See, when I played it, I played both A campaigns before I went back and did a B campaign. Oh, okay. So you can <laughs> choose which way you want to go. Yeah, because uh, I remember I rented it from Blockbuster. Mm-hmm how long ago it was and um <laughs> and i was off school sick again that's how long ago it was i was still at school um, <laughs> and uh i was sick so i sat in bed for three days and i just played resident evil 2 all the way through for three days while i was ill and um <clears throat> i i remember one disc was Claire and one disc was Leon. Okay. Was the way it worked. Yeah, disc one, I think, had a picture of Leon on it. And yeah, Claire's on disc two's uh, right. picture. That sounds right. And then, from what I recall, the, the B campaign for the opposite character is on the same disc as. So okay. Like Claire, so, like, Claire's A campaign is on the same disc as Leon's B campaign. I could be wrong about that, but that's how I seem to remember it going. Oh, okay. Interesting. You would think it would be like the Leon disc has both Leon B and Leon A, and the Claire disc would have Claire A and Claire B. It's possible. As I said, it was like... <laughs> it was a long time ago. Back when yeah. most of you youngsters probably weren't even alive yet. More, many more years ago than I care to count. <laughs> It is so weird to think about how old we are getting. Yeah, I'm going to be 30 in two weeks. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you were that much older than me. <laughs> yeah. 
you open the glove box? Yeah. Apparently. You've got uh you got four years on me almost. Oh no, zombie! Who would have seen that coming? Apparently not them. Uh, yeah, no. Otherwise they'd have better wheel control. <laughs> so uh, as of the recording of this, they just announced a remake HD for Resident Evil Zero. So clearly Resident Evil Remake HD did really well, hopefully at least it seems. So I don't want to get my hopes up, but do you think there's a possibility now that we could see a remake for this game? Oh man, I hope so. I do too. Like I, I really hope so. I only know basically the hype of this game. Like I, I remember watching a playthrough of it a long time ago. I don't remember anything from it. It was the Game Informer one, and mm -hmm. uh, so I don't remember anything from it. But I remember like I just, I just know how highly this game is regarded as being like one of like the pinnacle of Resident Evil games, pretty much. This is yeah, just the not, beginning of their not worst full. nightmare, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. No, We're in the game. Sense. Oh boy. Okay. Run around. Didn't you say you wanted to play as Claire first? Yeah, I. It, it, I guess this is the Leon part. <laughs> okay. Bait and dodge. Well, you are playing the Leon campaign because Claire yep. starts in the same place. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go. I guess we're going this way, guys. <laughs> I guess we're going with Leon first. Bait and dodge. Bait and dodge. I know how I know how this works. Don't use your ammo unless you need to. Hi. What are you doing here? My name's Leon. Hold your fire. I'm a human. I'm also a police officer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I thought you the, one of them. the cheesy voiceovers still remain. He locks the door. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city Look good it's going to do. Yeah, I know. I love it cuz the window's right there. Like it's a right. wide open window. Okay, now hang on a second. I want to see Okay, does do we have any kind of no? I was going to see if there was subtitles or something, but I don't see it. Yeah, I think it predates subtitles by about 5 years. That sucks. Okay, so is there anything in here? Like some. Oh, I, there's ammo. I don't remember where, but I remember there being ammo in there. Yeah, we got some ammo. Handgun bullets. Yeah, you. Okay. And, uh, once they've finished eating him, you can go over to him and uh, get the shotgun from his body. Right. Uh, grab this. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Anything else? No, I think we're good. Whoop! Get around him! Streets are no longer secure. No, get off me! Get off me! He has stopped breathing. Grab his shotgun. Yes, take the shotgun. Go. That only holds four bullets. Jeez! You only get four shots and that's it? Yes, but wow. I do remember <clears throat> that one of the few things I do remember about this is you can get upgrades for your weapons that let them... Uh, hold more ammo and um like the pistol one does rapid fire and stuff like that okay more handgun bullets yay uh, i have a feeling i'm gonna have to use them uh yes how do i ah here we go okay are you using a controller or a keyboard keyboard or a uh, controller what am i saying I was going to say, playing this on a keyboard must be the worst thing ever. Yeah, I would not imagine trying that. That just seems like a bad idea. Press shift to run. Yeah. This is awful. Especially in the third person games. I'm not a fan of playing like third person with a keyboard. First person's fine for me, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't like doing that either. The whole mouse and keyboard thing doesn't work for me unless it's something like Gauntlet... Just run, just run past him. All right, just go. We wasted enough bullets on that. All right, just keep going forward. 
trying to remember what the uh, auto save for this game for this emulator is. I think it's F one. Oh, oh, that's lame. Auto save, or not auto save, but like save states. Because I've tried using like the actual like saving file. Oh, when I did Silent Hill, I tried using the actual saving mechanic and trying to have a digital uh, memory card in the game. It didn't work. It didn't work for some reason. I don't know why, but I went and loaded up the game and there was no memory card uh, saved. Yeah, so. start all over again. Yep. That sucks. Ah, get off me. Bait and dodge, bait and dodge. Yeah, so I was, I, I mean, I lost like a half hour or so of recording, so I had to redo it all, but. That sucks. Yeah. You might hear a loud beeping noise. Apparently someone's reversing next to my window. Oh, okay. I thought that was in the game. I was just like, what is going on? No, nah, someone's turned up with a. Alrighty then. A thing. The hell is this? <laughs> oh, they're, they're putting mulch outside my window. God damn it. That's funny. Yeah, well, yeah, it is now, but we don't know how much oh. noise they're going to make. Come on, come on. Oh, nice. Curb There's ammo behind you, too. Oh, there's still more. Okay. I thought I picked it up. <laughs> this is a great time to That's record. so annoying. Okay, whatever. Had I realized they were going to do that, I'd have said, we'll do this on a different day. Right. Oh, well. Dicks. <laughs> You know, have like a what? I can I can I hear that. It's, oh my god! Anything. It's so loud. I, I live in a basement. <laughs> ah, get off me! Get off me! I'm trying to see if I can turn my TV around and then go and live on the other side of the room. I only have <laughs> a one-room apartment, but right. it's not working too well. Yeah, no, that's super loud. All I'm right. sorry. That's all right. And that's with the windows closed and everything. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Leon's not doing too well. We need some health. I don't remember how to do it, but I remember um, there is a way to uh, to make the what's his name Brad the pilot from the first game uh -huh. appear in that little runway he just ran through, and then oh, he really? takes like twenty five bullets to kill him. But when you do kill him. Um, he drops the special key that gives you the extra outfits. Oh, wow. I would assume that probably, I, you probably have to beat the game at least once first. No, you can do it on the first playthrough, but oh. I don't remember how to do it. Huh. I even remember, um, I remember back in the day when you first bought, uh, the director's cut, it came with a demo disc for Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, you could even do it on there. I think I have that. I think I have There's that. I'm not sure. Ink ribbon next to the typewriter. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess you don't, guess you don't really need it, it, yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be weird. Okay, Paul so they moved locked. the van away that's from my lot. window, but they're now spraying mulch at my windows. <laughs> it's I can still hear it just a little bit, but not too badly. What the heck is? Okay, so on this page here, you see the bottom left corner, it says like system or like above the file editing mode, there's like two pictures. System and test. Yeah, what on earth is that picture on test? I don't know. It looks, it looks like, like face. Yeah, it looks like a really creepy face. Okay, I want to make sure that I understand that I have the right saving here. Okay, so F1 I believe is to save. Okay, I'm going to move forward and I believe F3 is to load. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So I need a key card to unlock the doors. What, all of them? Well, let's check to see if there's any open ones. This one's open. <laughs> Guess we'll go through this one. All right. I'm going to have to probably... Oh, the infamous scene. I know about this scene. <laughs> you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been. It'd be really great if I could hear what he's saying. He's like, sorry, but I think your party has been cancelled. <laughs> At the moment, he looks like he has a seizure and he's just occasionally reaching out for him. 
<laughs> that's, that's it. That's about that's about right, I'd say. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was Umbrella. Everything. Yes, Umbrella's behind everything. So, so Chris and all of them came back, said that Umbrella was responsible for everything, and like nobody list, nobody believed them. Right. <clears throat> uh, I believe you can actually find his desk in the police station. Yeah, I think that's right. See the Hazel Claes. Okay, I got the key card. Oh, there's a paper on the. Why was he pointing his gun at him? He was like, go, get out of here. And he's like, fine, but I'm coming back for you. And he locked the door. All right, so now that we have the key card, we should be able to use it with the computer to unlock everything. Hall side doors locked. Doors can be unlocked by key card. We'll use a blue key card, yes. Checking up ID card. That one's unlocked. That one's unlocked. Hall side doors lock released. Awesome. Hoo -hoo. Okay, I think the mulch people have gone. <laughs> the mulch people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this sounds what it says like on the side of their thing. Mulch people. <laughs> yeah. Mulch people. Mulch people. It's a crab people reference. Ah. Inventory. Cool. What's this? Police memorandum. Oh boy, here we go. This letter is just to inform everybody about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of that. Because, I, do, you, do you know, can you access like this information from the menu if you need to? I think so. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and take a picture just to be safe, just like I did with Silent Hill. I need to take off my timer on my camera. I don't need a timer. Zero seconds. Thank you. Okay. Well, let me see if I can check that. It has been filed. Okay, so if I go in here, file. Oh, that's that really tells me what these are all about. <laughs> this is the blue yep. one. This is the yellow one. This is the red one. Yep. Okay, so yeah, I can. Cool. Alright. Leon, you need health. Like, now. Oh. Hmm. God damn it. Is there a desk in that room that you can open? Uh... There's a little thing like this. This right here. Health in there? Mm, nope. No health. But All I right. did see something go across that window. Yeah, you're doing that. That's bad. Yeah. Leave that well alone. Oh, so I probably should not have gone through here. Well, you have to go through there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, boy. However, being on caution is not any good. Probably not. Oh. Okay. Can I go in this door? It's locked. A spade is etched under the keyhole. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hi. How's it going, buddy? Ugh. Ugh, run. Yeah, got through him. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save. That really does come in handy for these. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It does. I mean, it does. It does take away some of the the tenseness, I guess, of 
the uh, right. manual saving system, but for the sake of a playthrough, it also is pretty helpful, so. All right. Operation report. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. I mean, yeah, I would assume that's a, that would be an unexpected attack. Uh, many have been injured. Even more were killed during the attack. Our communications equipment was destroyed, and we no longer can cont contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. Details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. <clears throat> Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition uh, ammunition <laughs> caches. This is GTA. Uh, it has become our top priority to recover these scattered uh, munitions to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the key card uh, used to ha no, card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Reorder David Ford. September 27th, 1 p.m. The West <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, the West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. 12 more people were injured in the battle. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet-unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing feature uh, is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers, as well as their location, remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Whew. And I have somebody, like, outside my window currently, like doing yard work yeah i, I hear that uh, <laughs> we are just not it's not working today all right apparently it's too much working today yeah people should lay off take a holiday exactly we, we're working on a playthrough here okay i was gonna say it sounded like someone's revving a chainsaw outside yeah i know it's a fireplace and oil painting hangs above it Title is a sacrifice to the hellfire. Okay. That's a great thing to have in a police station. And he has a lighter in his possession. Oh, he does he? Okay. Oh, yeah, he does. Will you take the handgun bullets? Yes. Man, so I, I was just... That, I was just... I assume him. he has the lighter and uh, Claire has a lockpick. Probably. I was just hammering on the uh, use key. Oh, I love how it, like, bleeds through from, like, the breast. <laughs> it's like... Gem... Red Jewel, yes. All right, I'll probably just go put that in storage. Anything else in here? Jamming on the A button. I'm using a 360 controller to play this. How is that? Is that weird? Not really. I mean, I just, I, I don't think of it as a 360 controller. I'm just thinking of it as a PlayStation controller, pretty much. Right. The only time where I got confused was I pressed like R or uh, the right trigger in order to aim, but it's the right bumper instead because it was R one on the on the game. Was it really? Yeah, it was R one aim. Remember that? At oh, least that's terrible. Yeah, according to having it set up like this. You want to keep away from the windows, just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna save. Keep going here. The weird thing is, like, some of the layout of this reminds me of the mansion. Like, this right here. The basement? Well, no, I was thinking, like, right here, this, like, hallway, I can imagine, like, to his right, like, over here, a door to the bathroom scene or whatever. Like, it's very similar. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of it. And the color scheme reminds me of the, the labs. Yeah. Underneath the guardhouse. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, of course, it's locked. Oh, shit. Get off me. All right. Going to have to take down some enemies here. Something you probably want to keep in mind when picking up ammo and stuff. Whatever you pick up now is not going to be in Claire's B. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. Okay. 
Gonna have to switch. Nice. That's good enough for me. Just enough to get by. Is that herb? No. Okay. I thought it was an herb. I was just like, oh, please, I need help. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> All right. Let's go up here. Okay. No enemies. What's up here? Knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Ah, another gem. Something is written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. So it looks like we have a pushing puzzle. But let's go through here first. I just want to explore pretty much first and kind of get my bearings. Right. I hear a guy. Is that... Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. Equip. I hear you. Oh, there's a bunch of you. Okay. Oh. Nope. Didn't go for the headshot. Oh. Okay. They're still twitching. Is that like... Yeah, they're supposed to do that. It, okay. It's... Like, they they bled out, so I assume they're dead, but then they twitch. Yeah. Okay, here, I think this is where, yeah, that's Leon's jacket, I think. Or not Leon, but uh, Chris's jacket or something. Chris's diary, yep. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Oh, shit. Is that supposed to be when we, when we find out that that's... Chris's sister. Unicorn metal, yeah. Uh, I guess so. Leon. Oh, they should. Claire! Is. Maybe not then. <laughs> it's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Oh, okay. No, she did mention it already, it looks like. Here's his diary. I just stole it into a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. I'm gonna keep touching your boob as I tell you these things. You gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Alright. I'm still really hurt. You don't by chance have any health, do you? <laughs> I love how there's like a little That's first me. there's a little first the aid thing on the wall. Oh, first aid spray. Nice. I thought I totally thought that was not going to be a thing. Cuz it it like it's not a it, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> pop out from the the of the rest of it. So I was just like, "Oh, well that's just there for show. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information." There are various devices uh, gather information. Oh, this is the safe. Okay. Well, what was that number? 2236. Damn. I seem oh. to fit, recall. Never mind. Apparently, it's already open. <laughs> take another I shotgun. I wouldn't take that. No. But that oh. one holds five. Great. But then there's no shotgun for Claire. Uh, I can't put it back. No, you can't. Damn uh, it. You might be able to put it in the... Um, in the storage thing and... Yeah, and that might work. Okay. Well, Damn. Hopefully. Find if he could dual wield. Yeah, that <laughs> would be awesome. Like a Devil May Cry scenario. Yeah. All right. Just to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. <laughs> it's trash. Someone must have searched the desk. 
Various trophies. One of them reads Marksman Contest winner Chris Redfield. All right. Well, hopefully uh, I can do something about that. There's another guy. I hear him. Ugh, I hate... The, the only time I don't like these camera angles is when you can't when see that... Dying, yeah. Well, just not being able to see the enemy off screen. Get off! That's not cool. Okay, I'm going to save here real quick. And actually, I think that's going to be good for this first episode. So we'll just leave with the curb stomped enemy here. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this first episode. Hopefully uh, everything will be okay with the Claire scenario. Again, I don't know if we'll get to the Claire scenario immediately after this or if we'll come back to it at some later date. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And we will catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.